Representative of the Dominican Republic, I will now make a statement in my capacity as representative of the Russian Federation. We're grateful to the SRSG, Mr. Mahamad Saleh Anadi, for his briefing about the situation in the country and on the work of uh, MINUSMA. As we see it in, in today's conditions, the Security Council must continue to focus attention on uh, the uh, situation in the country. We uh, remain very concerned about the situation in Mali after the coup d'etat of uh, the 18th of August. We are in favor of creating conditions for a resumption as soon as possible of a national dialogue which should develop mechanisms to return the country towards a constitutional order. We noted uh, the decisions taken uh, along these lines by the transitional authorities, including agreeing on a transition charter, the appointment of a president and a prime minister. The formation of a cabinet of ministers is also a step in the right direction. And we welcome also the release uh, from detention of the former uh, prime minister and other officials that were arrested on the 18th of August. We also expect that uh, the uh, time frame for the transition of 18 months will be strictly adhered to, uh, following which uh, a uh, general elections will be held. The st stabilizing the situation in the country will depend on rigorous adherence by the new authorities and other political forces of the provisions of the Algiers peace agreement. We expect that... Uh, a constructive dialogue with uh, groups that are signatories to the agreement will be maintained. The reform of the security sector and of governance must be continued. The interests of all ethnic groups in the country, especially in the, from the north, must be taken into account. We cannot allow current difficulties to be taken advantage of by terrorists, which, judging by the increased number of attacks, are feeling more and more confident. Civilians are increasingly becoming victims of uh, improvised explosive devices set up by fighters, as was the case in September with a, a bus and an ambulance. We're also very worried about the situation in the Mopti region. There we're seeing uh, attacks against military convoys and patrols. In the center, bloody inter-ethnic and inter-communal clashes continue. Overall, in Mali, we're seeing increased cases of abductions, uh, uh, attacks, uh, banditism, racketeering, uh, robbery, and human rights violations are rampant. We're extremely concerned about the humanitarian situation. Due to the, pan the coronavirus pandemic, those needing uh, food assistance has significantly increased. Uh, schools continue to be closed, uh, and medical uh, uh, facilities are overwhelmed. All this requires an immediate reaction uh, uh, by humanitarian agencies. We support the efforts of the African Union and of ECOWAS in the area of political mediation in Mali. In particular, we highlight the role of ECOWAS and the efforts of the Special Envoy of the organization, Good Luck uh, Jonathan. We call on the Malian authorities to actively cooperate with their colleagues in the region. We welcome the fact that steps aimed at reestablishing the constitutional order have led to lifting of restrictions imposed against Mali by ECOWAS. It's important to take into account that the situation in Mali is a key factor of, of regional security. We uh, hope that a full participation by Malian armed forces will continue in operations of the G5 Sahel Joint Force and that the agreements achieved uh, at the uh, summit in Nouakchott, uh, the decisions on stepping up counterterrorism activities, will be implemented. It is essential to continue to closely cooperate and coordinate uh, actions between Bamako and uh, MINUSMA. Peacekeepers must continue to clearly carry out their mandate in the north and center of the country. We welcome the assistance uh, provided by MINUSMA to the G5 Sahel Joint Force and also in combating the coronavirus. At the same time, we would like to note that the main responsibility for the protecting of civilian population and re res resuming control over uh, the northern regions and resolving various socioeconomic and other issues must be assumed by the Malians themselves. In conclusion, I would like to express our, our gratitude to the Special Representative of the Secretary General, Mr. Anadif, for his uh, very uh, comp effective leadership of the mission. Now I go back to my role as
President of the Security Council, and I 